Arua District COVID-19 Task Force has banned operations of major markets in the district that attract people from Democratic Republic of Congo, Arua City and other West districts. Resident District Commissioner of Arua District, Festus Aikobua, says markets are becoming another major ground for community infection of COVID-19 as people do not observe SOPs. They are not observing SOPs, especially even many of them are not putting on masks. And those who are putting on the masks are not putting it rightly. So because of that, and even because of the social distance they are having in between, is not what the, the, the Minister of Health recommended. So we have therefore taken a decision to close all the markets. Arua district leaders are also engaging leaders from the side of DRC to regulate movement of their people. A world problem, and they are aware that even the corona exists, themselves are also, also fighting to say that the corona stops in Congo side. Definitely when we are moving there, we will invite the leadership of Congo to be part and passion of our decision. Despite the presidential directive of the 42-day lockdown, where animal markets and other non-food items were stopped from operating, some of the markets in Arua district, like Ajia Market, continue to do business. Objected to corona virus. That's how the positive part of it. But the negative part of it will also mean we shall not have the money, we shall just abide by it, we shall tolerate until 42 days elapse. Close everything to death. Even my family is going to suffer. And then said I pack everything now, no money, even I'm going home without any single money. Arua District Chairman Alfred Okuonzi and Police Community Liaison Officer Arua Nika Avubieng stressed that revenue collection for the district should not be an issue now when people's health is at risk. The corona is real, it is hitting us hard in this place. And therefore we want to see that our people are protected at all levels and at all costs. You know, to be collected where people are all healthy. And we cannot bend that. We want that where that COVID-19 is real and what are the standard operation procedures to be followed.